I fucking take it. I would but, take it, but again, it's not ethical. Yeah, it's if he's in, treating in that it like situation. a business. If he's treating it like a business, then he knows nothing about business ethics. That's not that's not ethical at all. Um, you're if, especially if he believes in a free market system. He's not even fucking. He's not giving the other YouTubers a chance. He's monopolizing on this. Um, I I don't know for I don't I can't comment right, on this for sure. But, Let's call the federal government and call it monopoly shit on this right now. I don't know for sure on this because no. I had no I don't I the podcast was the first time I heard about it. But I something like him and White Boy were tra- they knowingly were trading giveaway days. Uh, that's definitely monopoly. And if you if you don't see that, that's just dumb. Um, it's there being these viewers that actually believe in this, and they're just saying, "Oh, shut up! It doesn't really matter." No, they're being a slave to this just because they want to get free shit. It's just like the YouTubers that beg for likes. They're being a slave to the people that they're asking likes for. And I guess this is getting to the more philosophical and deep side. But by doing this, he's just a dick. Really, he's smashing every hopes that someone else has of getting to the top favorite spot. He can some. I could put a fucking. I could put three days into a video, which I often do, um, and not even have a chance because he is giving something away that I can't, and I can't give it away because I obviously don't have the amount of subscribers that he does, and I don't have the amount of money he does either. You know, if if I were like a fucking, I don't know, if I had lots of money, and I had the same amount of subs, I might give away the occasional thing, you know. But I don't have that kind of money. I, I mean, I make ends meet, and then I have enough to, like, buy video games to support the channel, and I buy, um, you know, sh- fun shit for myself. I go to the movies for my job, and then I do all this other stuff, but I don't have that kind of money, and if I did, I would certainly, you know, someone messaged me up and was like, hey, I don't have an Xbox, or I don't have a PlayStation, and I'd really like to play with you. Um, here's my channel. I have some videos of just me and my friends dicking around. They're pretty funny. Check them out. And I like his shit. I'm going to fucking send him a PlayStation. But I don't have that kind of money. Even if you did, I don't even think that the amount of money that you have, I don't think it really plays into it. It is a huge factor. But even if I did have that amount of money... I mean, if I had Bill Gates money, dude, I would donate PlayStation to everyone in America. Oh, if I had X-Jaws money, I would, get, I, would give, I would give shit away like that. But the fact is, he is doing it strictly for his own gain. And that is wrong. Well, I guess that's not wrong if you want to uh, better your position. But the fact that he's shutting out other YouTubers' chance at a top favorite spot is, is entirely wrong. And even if it is a business, that is entirely wrong because that is monopolizing it and it's just it's being a whore. And I do not – basically, I'll, I'll sum it up for you. Wing is an idiot uh, who doesn't put out creative content. X Jaws has the occasional really good commentary. Which, which when he has a commentary, um, I, I have a, a friend of mine who's a subscriber of his and, and like I don't know worships the ground he walks on, kind of like how I do Hutch and Anders and whatnot. Um, and he says, "Oh, hey, this was a really cool commentary," and I go watch it. I generally like that video because he's. Got great. He's a good. He's a good gamer. First off, I mean, he's like he usually goes like forty and not very many deaths. Um, and he speaks eloquently. I'm not even sure if that's the correct definition of that, but I don't really give a fuck. I like that word. It's pretty. Um, it works. And it's just inter- It's it's just it's a ten minutes and it's fun to watch. Now, some of uh, some of the people who are watching this, if this gets any kind of viewership at all outside of yours and mine, um. You know, I'm not just a Hutch fanboy. Yes, I like his stuff. But if Hutch and I disagree, you know, my brain is not his and his is not mine is what I'm trying to say. And uh, there are some things that Hutch says that I disagree with and there are some things that I think, um, you know, I disagree with Woody on. There's some things I agree with Woody on. Uh, Just sometimes, you know, because I like his stuff or – well, not because I like his stuff, because I am who I am. I like his stuff because he and I sometimes think similarly, or mo- a majority of the time. I'd say 55% of the time we agree on stuff. Well. Not all the time, but mm, a majority of it. I'm, I'm not sure the exact percentage, but I, I disagree. I agree with Hutch and disagree with Woody on the fact that Hutch, even though he represents the company, I, I'm a big advocate of this, that 
and I don't know if you're to this point in the video, but Hutch should be able to say whatever the fuck he wants. And if he, he wants, and if and he does, and if he wants to like a video that says X Jaws is a fag, um, and he finds it funny, then he should be able to like that. What he should do is he should not make that go to his Facebook and Twitter per se, but um, he should be able to like that video. Just like uh, this is going to be the biggest problem I'm going to have in my job because as a journalist, we're supposed to be prim and proper is I'm going to have a hard time censoring myself and I'm going to have a hard time not speaking my mind on shit, I especially if, if I ever get huge. People are and, – and, uh, and I'm not hating on X-Jaws the person because I've never met the guy. I've never talked to the guy. I'm hating on X-Jaws the businessman. I'm ha – exactly. I'm hating on the business aspect of – the business person of him, the business side. Now, he may be a totally chill person that we have a lot of fucking shit in common, but I've never talked to him in real life. And I just like to make that clear that I'm not hating on him because he's rich or because of this or because of that. I dislike his business practices, and that's where it stops and begins. That's where it starts and stops with his business practices because I can't speak to the tune of any of his other, th of his other things. Okay, so um, about Hutch. I've never disagreed with him on anything, so I'm pretty sure we're soulmates, but I'm not gay, <laughs> so I'm not going to say that. I'm sorry. That's fucking hilarious. Future, I'm, I'm sorry. If he, if I were a woman and he, he wanted me, I would give myself to him, or if he were a woman, I would definitely go after that. Um, how how not, far? All the way. Uh, would you fly out to California and, and propose? I would stalk him if I had to. Um, <laughs> but at this point, I'm not gay. So I can't I can't say that anything like that, but I that's this whole is that why he deleted his Twitter and everything? Yeah, it, it was it was he said in the video. I'm, I I think you're not quite to this point yet about how like every everything was like he made the point of how because I say this and I point out this I don't hate X Jaws as a person. I don't hate Woody as a person. I have Woody's number and I and I yeah, call him. I a saw person. that, but um. That's why he deleted his Twitter, and he's now exclusively on Facebook. Um, but I will never have a Twitter just because Twitter I, – I think Twitter is retardedly stupid because the only there's only two things it's meant for. One, keeping up with celebrities, and two, finding out shit about celebrities because nobody gets on Twitter to find out about new shit. That's what fucking Facebook's for and what what the internet's for. I mean – I, that's I, I, see that I, I, that's probably the point. If I had found that out, that I would have gotten mad because people are treating Hush like he's a fountainhead for Machinima. He that's what Machinima. he was bringing up. Is, is this, I'm at that point now, and, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but H Woody and everyone else is jumping on Hutch, saying he's the face of Machinima. Well, that may very well be because he's kind of like a mascot, but he's not the fucking community. Director. He's not the Robert Bowling, and they're arguing that he is. I mean, sure he's famous. Sure he's got you know whatever. But he should be allowed to say whatever the fuck he wants. And in one of his Facebook posts, he said that you know I I was brought in because I'm opinionated and I will constantly give my opinion uh, on shit. Um, and I mean, fuck. If he wants to like a video that says X Jaws sucks big penises, then go for it. I mean, if he finds it funny, fuck it. I mean. I, yeah, this that's is for fun. The minute that that business got involved, then drama started happening, and then this is what makes it not fun. Well, the minute that business got involved is the minute that fucking quality has dropped because the entire you have one of two ways to go with a business. You can either go for quantity and quality suffers, or you can go for quality and quantity suffers. Well, it's it's proven in almost every economic system that quantity over quality normally does do better. Because you can make thing, you can make something that's mediocre and get more of it at a cheaper price, and that's going to make way more money because it's more affordable. Or you can make something that's really high quality and make less of it, and it's going to be bought less because of its high price. Exactly. And that's basically you can. I guess you can equate. You can equate this to the, these videos. Like I said, well, I can equate it. I can equate it to my own videos, and I have direct proof of that. The videos that uh, the videos that I take a while to do, and I like don't have anything saved up to do immediately after. Um, I'm flashing to my Modern Warfare 3 checklists, stuff like – stuff that I actually write out. Um, it's like the thing that I just recently – not not that I just recently uploaded, but the thing before that, the grape slushy story that took me two and a half hours to write out. And then it took me about three hours to produce because I was having trouble not laughing through it. 
that video is probably one of my more funny videos. I mean, can you agree? I mean, it's better than me bitching about the Westboro Baptist Church or know, fucking like ignorance. Uh, but, but I, I definitely see what you mean. My uh, the two the two writing videos that I've done, I normally get about fifty to sixty views on them. Yeah, on that's about video. what I get. Thirty to and, forty. Uh, those two writing videos that I have are way more, like two hundred views. At I think at least, and uh, that's that's definitely evident of what's going on here as i i'll go back again and say because i'm definitely not afraid to say this wings puts out terrible content but because his fan base is so latched on to this idea of wings of redemption and because he already ha- he he's gotten a large following uh they're reluctant to stop following him he puts out shitty quality videos every day and people just constantly constantly watch him they don't even realize that he doesn't care about them he just wants their money and of course yeah no what the, mm. Their argument was that nobody's getting hurt. He's and he said that he doesn't care about his subscribers, um, but it's it's not. There are quite a few people getting hurt, and of course, it's not me. Well, I guess in a microcosmic sense, I am getting hurt because um, if I did get big, I wouldn't have a chance anyways. But I think now I'm talking in circles because I've already covered this. So I'll, I'll sum it up very quickly. Wings, he puts out terrible content, and he's an idiot. Um, Extras, he comes. He he tries to come off smarter than he actually is, and he's he's running a business, uh, which is perfectly fine. But he's doing it in the wrong way. Uh, I think if you you can have a successful business and not smash every other. Of course, if you're a dick like Kyle is, and Walmart have, and run McDonald's, and you have, you have no problem with becoming this huge Donatos and mega little maniacal fucking dictator of the gaming part portion which he is basically coming um his 311,000 fucking subscribers he's growing exponentially at a very fast pace um he doesn't I, as i said he doesn't need to put out these ga- these giveaway videos he doesn't need to give away i it, it's cool to give back but he's not really giving back if you think about it because he's getting much much more in return uh, yep and I, I think we should wrap this up because we've been talking for 40 minutes, and I think two 30-minute, 40-minute videos in a row is quite much on our subs, and we don't want to bitch we're them ran- to death. We we're are ranting now. It's ethically wrong, and whatever you want to say, it might be morally right for you. Uh, but I guess it, that depends on how you define morals, but that's a whole other video. It is ethically wrong. Um, you can disagree with that if you want, but it is. Um, I'll let you take the last word. Agreed. And your hair is fucking awesome. It's uh, it's pretty all over the place right now. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for, I guess, listening to us, bitch, if you've made it this far. I, I'm, I'm very curious to, to see how many of you have. So here's what I want to do. To see how many of you have made it to the end, I want you to, in your comment, if you have a response to this, I want you to post Purple Derp. P-U-R-P-L-E, no space, D-E-R-P, Purple Derp. If you do this... I'm going to think of something special for you guys. <laughs> I just I just want them to do this because I'm curious to see how many people who comment will make it all the way to the end before they comment or will actually watch the end of the video. So if you make it all the way through and you were going to comment anyways, put purple dirt and then go down the line and then say what you were going to say. Yeah, but if, you're, if you've already commented, say, once or twice, then put I just finished the video or, or don't put I just finished the video purple derp. Put like purple derp and then something uh, adding on to what you said or delete your old comment and repost it with purple derp in it. And if you make it through, I'll, I'll plan something. I will sing. I'll, I'll do something. We should sing together, Doc. Maybe not. I don't know about All that. All right. We, we've been dragging this on long enough. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching, guys.